Every year, hundreds of millions of solar panels are produced. Thin sheets of glass that may look simple, yet they can power more than 200 million households for three decades. But how can such a fragile material hold the strength of the sun for so long? Behind each panel lies a sequence of processes measured down to the millimeter, from refining raw silicon, slicing it into wafers, printing conductive circuits, and laminating it between glass layers, to being inspected by hundreds of optical sensors. Each stage is a flawless fusion of modern engineering and human craftsmanship, where light itself is tamed into green electricity. From tiny silicon crystals, humanity has crafted photovoltaic cells, the heart of every solar panel, where the energy of the universe is transformed into power for the Earth. This video will take you deep into each step of that journey, revealing how technology is turning light into the ultimate symbol of the green industrial era. Solar panels first emerged in the mid-20th century, when humanity discovered how to directly harness sunlight to generate electricity. From the earliest panels with an efficiency of only a few percent, photovoltaic technology quickly advanced, ushering in a new era of clean energy for humankind. Today, millions of panels are installed each year, on rooftops, across vast solar farms, and even in outer space. They have become a symbol of the Green Revolution, delivering renewable power to hundreds of millions of people around the world. What makes them truly remarkable lies within their crystalline silicon structure, where a semiconductor layer only a few micrometers thick is capable of capturing sunlight and converting it into an electric current. The fusion of near-perfect material purity and an exceptionally precise manufacturing process has made the solar panel one of the most enduring technological achievements of the modern world. The journey to create the core material of a solar panel begins deep in quartz sand mines, where the Earth holds vast reserves of silicon dioxide, CO2, in its purest natural form. Once extracted, the sand is washed thoroughly to remove soil, dust, and organic impurities, then dried in large industrial furnaces to prepare for the refining process. Next, the quartz sand is fed into a high-temperature reactor, where it is melted at over 3,600 dollars Under these extreme conditions, oxygen and impurities separate, leaving behind molten silicon of exceptional purity. The liquid silicon is poured into cylindrical molds and slowly cooled a controlled process that ensures optical clarity and stable electrical properties. The foundation of all photovoltaic materials. Once solidified, the silicon ingot is sliced into ultra-thin wafers, each measuring less than 0.8 inch thick, about 0.2 millimeter. These delicate wafers form the backbone of every solar cell, and each one is scanned by optical sensors to confirm flawless flatness and near-perfect purity before advancing to the next phase. In the processing chambers, automated systems apply a thin blue-gray coating to the surface of each wafer. This layer enhances light absorption and boosts electrical conversion efficiency. After the stages of purification and slicing, the material enters a critical phase. The formation of the photovoltaic cell the pathway through which electricity flows, and the key factor that determines the overall efficiency of the solar panel. The silicon is placed inside a specialized processing chamber, where it is transformed into a PN semiconductor layer, the zone where sunlight is converted into electrical energy. Here, the material is doped at the atomic level, creating two regions of positive and negative charge. This electrical imbalance allows electrons to move freely when exposed to light, generating the very first electric current, the foundation of all photovoltaic activity. Each cell is examined by high-resolution optical sensors capable of detecting even the tiniest cracks invisible to the human eye. Engineers measure the voltage generated on the silicon surface to determine its photoelectric conversion efficiency. Only the cells that meet precise performance standards are printed with ultra-fine metallic conductors, preparing them for the cutting and interconnection stages. From those pure silicon wafers, the photovoltaic cells are perfected for strength and stability, 
ready to become the core of solar panels where sunlight is transformed into a source of energy that powers the modern world. And according to you, how many of these tiny solar cells do you think it takes to build a panel capable of powering an entire home? The cutting and interconnection of photovoltaic cells represent one of the most critical stages in the entire solar panel manufacturing process. Thin silicon wafers are fed into industrial laser cutters, where beams of light move precisely along pre-programmed paths, dividing each sheet into perfectly measured sections. This process minimizes electrical resistance as current flows through the panel, improving efficiency while reducing heat loss. Inside sealed chambers, every movement is monitored by optical sensors and high-resolution industrial cameras. Once the cutting phase is complete, each solar cell is carefully inspected under specialized lighting, and only those that meet strict quality standards are transferred to automated welding systems. There, fine metallic ribbons are soldered to connect each cell, forming a continuous electrical circuit. In advanced manufacturing facilities across the United States and Europe, Laser systems, cameras, and robotic welders operate in perfect synchronization, aligning each connection with microscopic precision. This ensures that electrical current moves seamlessly across the network of cells, creating a stable and efficient pathway for power transmission throughout the panel. Amid the bright, sterile glow of the automated production line, the rhythmic pulse of machinery echoes through the space, a symphony of technology where sunlight itself is reborn as electrical energy to power the modern world. After the photovoltaic cells are soldered into strings, these individual units come together to form a unified module, the fundamental building block of every solar panel. Each string of cells is carefully aligned in parallel and connected by copper conductors known as bus bars. Automated welding machines press each contact point with precision controlling temperature and pressure through pre-programmed settings to ensure a solid bond and stable electrical conductivity. An automated inspection system uses resistance meters and optical sensors to detect faulty solder joints and verify the flatness of the surface. In this section of the line, a precision sprayer applies an even, protective layer of adhesive, shielding the internal circuits from moisture and mechanical stress. Immediately afterward, the module is transferred into a vacuum laminator, where pressure and heat seal the layers together while removing any trapped air bubbles. The entire production line operates continuously, in perfect synchronization and with remarkable precision, establishing the technical foundation on which every solar panel is built. Before entering the vacuum lamination stage, the solar panel undergoes electroluminescence testing the first step in the quality assurance sequence across the entire production line. Inside the testing chamber, a low electrical current is passed through the panel, causing the photovoltaic cells to emit a faint glow that reveals even the smallest details on their surface. Infrared cameras capture this light, detecting micro cracks or hidden defects invisible to the human eye. The data appears in real time on the monitoring screens, allowing engineers to immediately identify and remove defective panels, while specialized software automatically analyzes and compares results to assess overall quality. To ensure both precision and production speed, the testing area is equipped with multiple parallel stations operating continuously. Here, every image and reading is displayed on large screens, enabling technicians to observe each detail in real time. The entire system functions within a tightly controlled environment, where machine rhythm, temperature, and lighting remain stable, creating the optimal conditions for accuracy before the panels move on to the vacuum lamination and layering phase. The vacuum lamination and layering stage is one of the most critical phases in the production of solar panels. After the photovoltaic cell strings have been soldered together, they are transferred to the layering section, where the foundation of a complete solar module begins to take shape. On top of the tempered glass, which serves as the main base of the panel, an automated coating system evenly applies a transparent polymer film known as EVA, ethylene vinyl acetate. This material acts as an electrical insulator and bonding agent, ensuring that the upper layers adhere firmly once heat is applied. 
When the layering process is complete, another sheet of EVA is added, followed by the insulating back sheet that seals the rear side of the module. During the hot press phase, high temperatures cause the EVA to soften and fuse, forming a durable bond between all material layers. The molten polymer encapsulates and stabilizes every photovoltaic cell, creating a unified structure that resists moisture and maintains stability against temperature fluctuations for decades of operation. Finally, the entire module is placed inside a vacuum laminator at around 300 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. The combined effect of heat and pressure permanently bonds all layers together, resulting in a solid, weatherproof, and thermally resistant panel, capable of delivering consistent performance throughout its long operational lifespan. After completing the vacuum lamination stage, each solar panel moves to the framing section, the point where it begins to take its final, recognizable shape as a complete module. On the automated line, robotic arms carefully position every panel while technicians oversee the assembly process with near-perfect precision. Pre-cut aluminum frames are prepared according to standardized dimensions and a thin line of waterproof silicone is applied along the edges of the tempered glass surface. Once the frame is placed, a mechanical press locks it securely in position, sealing the glass EVA, and back sheet layers together as a single structure. The aluminum frame acts as more than just an exterior border. It's the skeleton of the panel, reinforcing its rigidity and allowing it to withstand high winds, heavy rain, and snow loads during decades of outdoor exposure. Each joint is tested for strength and adhesion, ensuring that every module can endure transportation, stress, and installation impacts without deformation. When the frame is fully mounted, the process continues with the installation of the junction box on the back of the panel. Inside this compact component are protective diodes and copper connectors that channel the direct current generated by the solar cells to the external circuit. To ensure total insulation, the junction box is sealed with moisture-resistant adhesive and pressed tightly against the surface, preventing any dust or humidity from compromising the electrical flow. After assembly, each panel passes through the final inspection area. Electrical resistance, adhesion, and insulation levels are measured with infrared and optical sensors. Only panels that meet every standard proceed to packaging and performance testing. For flexible or lightweight solar panels, the same principle applies. Though instead of an aluminum frame, a polymer-based backsheet provides flexibility and protection, allowing the module to bend or fold without losing efficiency. From this point, each panel is structurally complete, ready for the final performance test before entering the global energy market. Once the entire assembly process is completed, the solar panels are transferred to the quality inspection phase, a decisive stage that determines their durability, efficiency, and ability to perform reliably under any environment. The process begins with an electroluminescence test conducted after the lamination stage. When a controlled electric current is passed through the panel, microscopic cracks or hidden defects become visible on the infrared imaging screen. Panels that fail to meet the standards are separated for repair or disposal, ensuring consistent quality across the entire production line. Next, the panels are placed inside a climate simulation chamber, where engineers recreate extreme environmental conditions. They perform tests for temperature fluctuation, humidity, wind load, and vibration to assess structural strength, resistance to cracking, and adhesion stability during transportation and outdoor installation. In addition, the panels undergo ultraviolet light exposure, artificial rainfall, and alternating thermal cycles. Rigorous tests designed to measure their resistance to aging, corrosion, and material fatigue over time. Through this meticulous evaluation process, each panel leaving the factory meets the highest quality standards, engineered to deliver long-lasting performance and provide stable, renewable energy for decades to come. After completing the entire testing process, the solar panels move to the final stage, packaging and distribution. Before leaving the production line, each panel is carefully cleaned vacuum sealed, 
and wrapped in a protective moisture-resistant film to safeguard it from environmental exposure during transportation. Identification labels and barcodes are printed directly onto the aluminum frame, recording manufacturing details and enabling traceability throughout the product's entire life cycle. On the automated packing line, panels are neatly stacked and secured with anti-slip spacers and high tensile straps. Each shipment is then sealed, weighed, and stability checked before it leaves the factory floor. The packaging system operates in perfect harmony between precision machinery and human oversight, ensuring accuracy and consistency down to the smallest detail. From there, the finished solar panels are loaded into containers and begin their journey to international ports. Today, these panels are distributed to more than 50 countries across Europe, the United States, Japan, the Middle East, and Africa, contributing to the global shift toward clean, sustainable energy for the future. Solar panels are not merely the product of advanced technology, they also stand as a symbol of humanity's aspiration for sustainable development. What do you envision for the future of solar energy? Leave your thoughts in the comments, hit the like button, and subscribe to the channel to continue exploring the technologies that are shaping the modern world.